All right. Now, I there's no way to not cover this Manchester United story. Uh, as obviously you can see it here, but the hits just keep on coming. And I, listen, maybe it was just an excuse that um, Ten Hag placed, right? That because he was saying some insane stuff. Ten Hag was to try to keep his job for his new bosses. And I will say his new bosses have absolutely been putting their money where their mouth is and trying to been trying to get some signings here. They got Lenny Euro, obviously, and then um, they're working on more. But anyway, if they get Ugarte, I am going to be fucking pissed. That one and Delic. Anyway, that's, yeah, 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 that's for another day. But he was always saying that he had massive injury problem at Manchester United. Now, in preseason, Lenny Yoro is out for three months with a foot injury. Rasmus Hoyland is out for six weeks huh, with a hamstring injury. So the hits just keep on coming for Manchester United. And, you know, big, big pieces, big signings. And Rasmus Hoyland obviously having a uh, slow start to the season, uh, initial season, last Season. How many times am I going to say season? Damn. But, yeah, Rasmus Hoyland was a little slow to start. So, obviously, I'm sure that they were hoping that, you know, right out the gate, he'd get he'd get jumping. And then Lenny Euro, obviously, expensive, brand new, shiny toy. We just got him. We stole him from Real Madrid. United. Injured. For three months. For three months. That's, I mean, it's August now, right? August, September. He's not going to be back until Halloween. That's a fucking nightmare. And so, and I I haven't seen anything confirmed yet, but I did see that uh, Marcus Rashford is also, um, was also limping. Um, and I did see Anthony, Anthony was, uh, heading back to the locker room, but I think his was just a tantrum. I, th- I honestly, I think his, his was just a tantrum. So I wasn't sure about that one, but this is supposed to be preseason. And also, I'm just going to throw it out there. I swear. I know I am a Liverpool fan and the, I, uh, yeah, I am, but Mason Mount looks so bad. Why does Mason Mount look so bad? It's like because he had the big move that he kind of forced that he then came out and said it was his dream club that he always wanted to play there where Chelsea had done everything for him. So, you know, he was getting a lot of hate. He was injured, barely featured last season. My favorite word, apparently. Um, He was so bad last season, right? I mean, absent, if we're being honest. And then this preseason game, I was watching some of it. He looked awful. And but he looked like like the kind of awful that like it was just kind of weighing on him. It looked like like you know, it just like he was forcing a shot. He was trying to force a nice pass. He was trying to force like that he was trying to do a wall with uh I think it was with Anthony at the time where he tries a back heel flick in fr- in traffic. And it wasn't even good. Like, if it would have been good, it wouldn't have worked. And it was really bad. So it was just like, why did you try that? And why did it look like that? There's a, sh- there a point where he had an open shot. He tries to take a dribble. Two people are in front of him. He shoots. And it gets blocked immediately. So it's like, I'd be concerned about that, if I'm being honest. So... On top of the injuries, I think Ten Hag is going to have quite the field day. Um, I think Manchester United is going to be interesting because although they're going to make some good signings, um, they look... I don't know, what's the word? <sighs> it's like their culture is so bad. It's so toxic because you still have Maguire there that doesn't want to leave. Um... And that they're kind of actively been trying to get rid of for years. But he's like the captain, right? Obviously, Bruno is now, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then you have, like, Luke Shaw's always injured. 
The De Gea situation was handled so bad. Casimiro's kind of a shell of himself. Bruno Fernandez is possibly also leaving, so they don't know what they're doing with him. Like, he was linked to Saudi Arabia. He was linked to PSG. They're trying to get Ugarte. They're trying to get um, Rabio. Obviously, they got Yoro. Now he's injured. Hoyland, they were hoping he'd get a hot start. Now he's injured. Anthony, I think they're trying to get rid of, but his, he's on too high of wages. That locker room and a coach, let's be frank, a coach that I think was pretty much dead in the water. And then, like, you know who? Just came back to life. Ten Hag. And just is like, they're just like, well, we couldn't find anybody. So, you're our coach now. Love you. Can you do this for us? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I can. You know? It's just a weird situation right now, I think, in Manchester United. uh, Both in the locker room and out of it. I think... Again, I think that they're making some decent signings, and and I I like some of the players, but they don't fit, and it's really really I I don't I just don't I just don't see them being like cohesive as a unit if I'm being honest, and so they're gonna be an interesting team to watch. Um, I mean they always are they're the biggest fucking team, but it's just it's just gonna be interesting to see if they don't get off to a good start. I think that the fan base is going to turn on them quick. I mean, as any fan base does, but they just, they're not, they're not ready. And I think fan as a, as a fan, they're going into this season, like not excited, but they're kind of making some sign. Maybe I, I, you know, they're not really excited. And so once it goes bad, they're going to be like, I told you, why do we keep 10 hag Ineos out? You know, whatever, whatever the case might be. So, again, it's going to be interesting to see, but that is a big blow for Manchester United, who was at least hoping that these signings that they've made, these big signings, would kind of steward the ship and, you know, make them look good. And it's not looking good. It is not looking good.